level up Ziggs. I just can't wait. Here we go. And then play Harold. The 6 7 Ziggs that's Overwhelm plus attack deal 2 to the blocker and the Nexus. That's no joke. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some action Ziggs. Our very first Ziggs deck. I know it's been a couple of days of the new. Uh, expansion out, but there's just so much stuff for us to try out and to play. This is where we're going to be getting to a Ziggs deck, and we're going to be playing Ziggs in the coming days. Tomorrow, we'll be playing Zareth and Ziggs with Buried Sun Disk, trying that combination out. Uh, but we're going to try Action Ziggs, and basically, this deck is very similar to Action Sivir, which was one of the, the best decks in the format right before the new expansion came out. And we're basically taking that deck and just turning it into Ziggs instead of Sivir and seeing how it works. So we'll still be playing Demacia. Mostly the, the reason to play Demacia, you know, we're not playing very many Demacia cards, uh, only Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector, Sharp Sight, and a copy of Golden Ages. The biggest reason is the Bright Steel Protector. That card with action is, is really fantastic. It counts as a uh, target for the Warlord's Palace. And things like that and of course it's great with fleet feather tracker and just really good with the vulnerable stuff right when you're playing rock hopper merciless hunter unraveled earth you're going to be able to have like some like enemy units are going to be vulnerable and so you'll give your uh, whatever's going to challenge it you'll give it barrier with the bright steel protector it's kind of difficult to uh, put this together though and have enough landmarks to destroy for zig so that's why we have to play unraveled earth so we got two of those we got all of our vagabonds to try to make these warlords palaces so we can blow those up to help level up Ziggs. We got an Ancient Hourglass. This will be protection plus it's a landmark that will be destroyed in the next round with the Countdown 1. A couple copies of Ancient Preparations and uh, you know, Rock Hoppers, Preservariums, all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that levels up Ziggs. We'll also have one copy of Herald of the Mages um, so that if we are able to destroy our 4 plus allied landmarks, then we grant our champions, you know, both Ziggs and Action, grant them plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. So playing one copy of that over the third Ruin Runner, we'll kind of see, like, when we play the games, we'll be like, all right, maybe this Herald should just be Ruin Runner. Um, you know, we'll kind of see. So trying that out. It's always good to try out new cards. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Action Ziggs. We'll go play five games in Ranked. And we got Twisted Nami. Hey, how about that? We're playing Twisted Nami up next. That's pretty crazy. All right, so I love uh, this opening hand. Maybe not the hourglass, but like the uh, the other three are perfect together. Basically, we just don't have a champion, right? And so I wanted to mulligan the hourglass and look for a champion. I think we're gonna start with the ancient preparations, actually. Go fleet feather tracker on two, protector on three. Yeah, that's true. Ancient preparations really did gain a lot from both Zareth and Ziggs being printed of you, you wanting to have landmarks that are destroyed. Okay, tough choice here between the three drops, Vagabond and Hunter. I'm going to go with the Vagabond because I want Warlord's Palace to get going. But tough choice there. Definitely see like Merciless Hunter ending up being the better card to play. And I think I'm actually just going to wait. But we'll see. If they do nothing, I'm going to... Yeah, if they do nothing, I'm going to wait because of, you know, make it rain, all that kind of stuff. I'll just wait on these two cards. We'll just save two spell mana. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Because two spell mana with sharp sight and hourglass. Very important. So Ziggs is one out of four. Eventually the palace will be two, our class three. How can I help? Wipe it off. Sure, boss. It's looking like a make it rain. Not the safest hourglass because they could just play another Mega Rain, and that's kind of likely actually. 
it's actually kind of likely that they want me to play like a shape stone or something like that. They just play another hourglass, then it kills the clockling and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to let this happen. I save these protection spells for the Fleet Feather Tracker. So I'm expecting another Mega Rain or Twisted Fate Red card. Yeah, they're wanting to do one of those two things. But still efficient, right? Like those Mega Rains have done a lot of work for them. So even if predictable, still very efficient. My shield is yours. I'm probably gonna do this. Play with both those. Nami's already leveled up. Wow. All right, so they discarded two stress testing. So therefore that was a draw four. So it was fates all the way up to six. If they have another Twisted Fate that's going to come down in a red card, that's really bad for me. That's the worst case scenario. And of course they do. Going with the Hourglass, because we know that that's going to resolve right now. And so that'll be another... Uh, another landmark for Ziggs. All right, we found a champion. And then also, I kind of assume that they have like the elusives and stuff, so keeping sharp sight to be able to Subdefense. stop elusives would be nice. It's all here. Another day, another explosion. Happy to do whatever's needed. They should have discarded a fleeting card at the end of last round from uh, the rummage and double stress testing, but I didn't see what card that was they discarded. I really wish that they would, again, like they discarded something right there, but that, it goes away so fast. Like, why is it just not in, why is it not in here of like what cards they discard that are fleeting? Okay, so we're going to sharp sight you... Level up Ziggs. I just can't wait. Here we go. And then play Harold. The six seven Ziggs that's overwhelm plus attack deal two to the blocker and the Nexus. That's no joke. It's already back up to six already. They need to level up Twisted Fate and have. Stacking the odds. And then have three spells they could play to get Gold Card. That's not going to be easy, but maybe possible. But even if that's the case, I can go. Okay, so I could make put Sandstone Charger into play with this and Sharp Sight the Sandstone Charger so that. The Ziggs doesn't get. Doesn't get stunned. Alright, now we'll just. We'll just draw a card. Post combat ancient preparations. Come on. No. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna play sharp sight here. 
and then post combat ancient preparations. The reason why ancient preparations it sets up our next draw well with the predict, and it should be the preparation should be good with the zigs, right? Because then the la landmark being destroyed, I think that should be good. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. So the thing about Overwhelm Pull Keg is that I, I figured... I figured that they would play a spell so the Keg would go away. And then I wasn't sure what would happen with this Zig's short fuse if the, if the card went away. Grab an action. Gosh, they have so many cards. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. I think they're going to be playing like enough cards for like red card, gold card, and stuff like that this this round. The Mirai will never know fear again. My quest is dangerous, but I will. Blue has the serpent eye. All the champions are leveled up. Everywhere. Level, 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 level. And one at Nana's, Lou. Maybe too many Twisted Fates. Too much card draw. They've drawn an extra 14 cards than what we have. <laughs> they have drawn a ridiculous amount of cards. All right, but thankfully that does not kill Ziggs. So this landmark will blow up and still do two damage to their Nexus. All right, what is this? Two to an enemy or deal one to two enemies. So can this do... That can't do Nexus damage, can it? Oh, can I... I, I want to pull this back to my hand. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it. The attack out's not going to work. <laughs> uh, luck, we did. I played Nami Zoe yesterday. I did the Nami Zoe yesterday, and it, worked, it went really well. It's up on YouTube right now. It was our best deck yesterday. Soak it in. No, I can't. I can't just attack. We lose. Because they just play spells. They red card. Gold card. Something for all. So my best chance is they... No! They had to play one more card. If they play one more card, then they get gold card. That was my best chance. They play one more card, then they gold card, and then we play Ziggs, and then we kill them with Ziggs. Like, that was, that's how I won. But they did the smart thing of going to the next round. Alright. Soak it in. Evan, Evan Flow finishes that game up. GG's. That was close. Alright, back to, to regular action Sivir. So let's see how Ziggs does. My last opponent had a whole lot more champions than what I did. But our Ziggs looked pretty good. Looked pretty decent. Quick hands make quick work. Uh. Careful. It's a trap. 
Cool. So round three, I'm going to have Fleet Feather Tracker plus Bright Steel Protector both. Ziggs. Can I just play Ziggs? Go get the shiny tablet. Actually, this is what we're doing. That's ten. Gonna find a gift for Only need ten more. I've got your back. Yeah, I guess I guess this is worth it. So Ziggs plus Waking Sands or Ruin Runner. Now I kind of wish I'd have the mana for Shape Stone with the Ruin Runner, but Sand in trouble, far as the eye can see. that's how it goes. So assuming they play a blocker, I can do eight damage to them. That is not a good play. That old trick again. I go, I go. So I could challenge here, here. That's putting them down to negative one. I could challenge here, that still puts them down to zero. So might as well do that, like where we threaten killing that thing. Alright, one and one. So they thought the first strike would take out the, the spell shield and the second strike would hit, but that's not how that works. It's one spell. Alright, we got Nami Fizz. This hand looks good. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep it all. Hand looks pretty good. We'll go and start with the Ancient Preparations. Do we want a second action? If not Rockhopper, but they're probably like a Make It Rain deck, so maybe Rockhopper not as good. Um, or we could go Sharp Sight. I guess we could Sharp Sight block Elusives. They're going to be a deck with a lot of Elusives. I guess Sharp Sight's going to work out well. It'll be a card I'll be happy about. Good people, don't look the other way. These pranks are strong. Whenever we're going to replay Darkness Control tomorrow, and I'm going to be playing these Otterpus as my one drop in the updated Darkness Control tomorrow. So yeah, so Hope's End, um, as always, do you, want me to, do you want me to edit? Do you want me to play it ranked or meme tier? Alright, so what the... So this thing's a 2-2 vulnerable now. I've got your back. Just gonna play the card they know about. I guess they they probably know about a second card, don't they? They know about the other Bright Seal Protector as well. you down. Be a good Preservarian matchup. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I am the tide caller. I will yeah, Nami's already leveled up. It's round four. If it's medicine, I can ride it. Let the tide carry you. <gasps> what is for you? 
So that thing's focus. So I'm doing this. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Just whether, like, what am I doing with this card? And I guess I'm probably drawing. Don't want the sandstone charger? No, I guess we gotta draw. We need Preservarium, right? Like, we need more card draw. Righteously reclaiming. So they'd have to have three spells to kill action, so it's certainly possible. Then the next spell is going to buff up this 3 3 again. Okay, so Nami's dead. Man, round, round four level of Nami is pretty silly. We have two Preservariums and two Unraveled Earths for card draws. We do have four card draw spells in the deck. Cool eye you like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Pretty good spell for coral creatures to make mystic shot. I didn't know coral creatures could make mystic shot now. The pranks don't do much if we don't have any cards in hand. I think we're just going to be taking nine. I don't really want to trade either of these with the coral creatures because we can challenge the coral creatures with our action next round with a quick attack and try to kill it. So having like Fleet Feather Tracker challenge Fizz. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton, right, Arda? Yeah, like they they get to just like the great part about the prank here is they get to just know what the card is in my hand. Okay, cool. That's just a little one of. Um, I'm not sure to, how to answer that question. Really, the question is, how do you feel about Zareth? And and I'm not sure. I just don't. I don't really know exactly how I feel about the card yet. Um, just want to play the deck, play the card more, I suppose. Not exactly sure. It has not been super impressive, but I've only played only played the card one time. I've only drawn it in two different games ever. I just want to play the card more. So leveled up auction, you need regular auction to strike to uh, do the whole Warlord's Palace thing. Leveled up action doesn't do anything with that. Alright, my meld finishes the game. GG's. They'll get their come up in soon enough. Those deal one draw card. You know, having like that deal one draw card multiple times that we're, you know, trading with our cards and then giving them those extra cards. That was the difference. We did not have anything similar to that. We just need more... Just need more champions. Okay. It's felt that we've needed more Preservariums in all these games. Probably, instead of playing two Ancient Preparations, you just have to play three Preservarium. My shield is yours. 
I want to play the action so it's just another round of the Warlord's Palace, you know, like that's two countdowns that I'm missing out on. Alright, can we get a zigs? Our deck hasn't felt like powerful enough. But then also to be fair, we've never had a game where we've had both of our champions, both action and zigs. We haven't seen them really work together yet. Cool eye patch. You like it? I mean shut up and fight. Yeah, the Draven Scion though is very powerful. I I haven't really seen anything beat Draven Scion yet. We we've never we never lost to Draven Scion. We lost to it all day yesterday. It's <laughs> like look how many cards they have in hand, right? Like it's just so efficient and it has so many it draws a lot of cards, has so many bodies, and it hits really hard. Like there's there's no holes to this Draven Scion deck at all. Villains beware. This card is just incredible, this lost soul. You just have infinite four mana four three challengers. A card is just completely absurd. Okay, well, that's a thing too, I suppose. Do this and save action. They discard survival skills. And this Golden Ages isn't bad, it's just like if they open attack, it's not great. I think I'm going to take it though. It's probably the kind of card that we're going to need. Like if they open attack challenging the action, I'm in trouble. But yeah, they just have Scion, so I'm also in trouble. I don't I don't know how this deck loses this Draven Zion deck. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. We did beat it one time. I think with Nami Zoe, I think it was, or some some deck like that. We did beat it one one time. But from what I've seen from playing with and against it, it's like ten and one. Sure, mini morph the Scion, but then like how do you deal with the infinite four three challengers? Like you have to You have to have like a like how do you yeah, like, even if I could have a mini morph right here, like, we're still very dead. Oh, sure. Take your time. I love to be kept waiting. I don't think mini morph the scion is the answer. You're covered. Like, even if we can have, like, Targon six mana obliterate, like, we kind of need, like, a ton of those, right? Like, Targon, like, six mana, nine mana obliterates, because we have to, like, obliterate all of these... Twin Blade Relevance and obliterate the Scions and have like hushes for them. Right up. Hey. Hmm. 
Um, yeah. This Scion deck's up on YouTube if you want to check that out. Yeah. Good game. Evil never plays fair. Riven. Okay, so Riven by Draven. Alright, Riven by Draven. Pretty cool little combination. Send the ancient preparations back. See the world from behind a basket. So it's not a great trade. The Blade Squire is going to die eventually anyway. So they get their Reforge. Um, I get my Waking Sands. Good people don't look the That's just way. how it is. Yeah, if we wanted to rank up, if that's if that's all I wanted to do is rank up, I would I would have been playing the Draven Sion the last three days. Yeah, you know, since since we played it two days ago and went 5-0. That's that's all I was trying to do is rank up. But that's not exactly what I'm doing. I'm wanting to play everything and make make different YouTube videos for everybody and, and show people different decks and combinations and all that kind of stuff. That's that's what we do here. But yeah, if, if my goal was if I was just a, a streamer that was just trying to rank up We would have just kept playing Draven Sion and be close to Master's rank by now. Okay. Do it. I think we're just blocking here. I'm not sure which line to take. I'm not sure if I have a line I love. Wish I could just grappling hook all the time. Save itself, you know. It won't. Okay. Ugh, I hope that was more it's not bad. I would like to protect her and grappling hook like the same round. I wonder if I can do that next round. Both of those. For vicious. Didn't play the Fleet Feather Tracker, wanted to have room, I didn't want to just have a Fleet Feather Tracker challenge Blade Squire either. Yeah, I agree, JJ. That Zoe Nami deck felt really powerful. Um, you know, went four one with that, but the that fifth game I had the option to, I had the ability to win if I would have just played the two spells in my hand. But yeah, that felt very powerful. Just don't have a target thing. Okay, that's too bad. Find your own. Not a chance. So now they have one Reforge blade right now. This is gonna be blade two and three. Ziggs, where are you at? I don't need rules to know good from bad. I guess I should have played Tracker first. Righteously reclaiming. Merciless Hunter, that's a card. I should probably be playing Waking Sands first before all this. Time for the Man, survival skills is everywhere. Or 
We're just getting wrecked by survival skills over and over. Alright, well, good game. Let's overwhelm the free attack. GG's. Alright, so our deck didn't look so great. Look, think it would probably be better as Sever, I guess, but, you know, we never drew, uh, you know, we had, like, one game with Ziggs, we had a couple of games with Action, never had a game with both Action and Ziggs. That's how life goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, I, I would like, I would have liked to see one game with both champions and just seen, seen what that was like. We, pro we probably had to make too many concessions to try to make Ziggs work in this deck with the Roiling Sands, like, where you'd rather just have Sivir and not have to play, you know, like Unraveled Earth and, and things like that and Ancient Preparations, which wasn't very good, and just play, uh, you know, the regular Sivir action stuff. So probably a worse version of that, but, you know, wanted to try out something different with Ziggs. You know, so we'll, we're going to try tomorrow Z Zareth Ziggs with uh, Mono Shirima. That's going to be a Ziggs deck we'll try out tomorrow. Another option, you know, like we did this with Demacia, because we, we know Demacia with action is very good with like the Bright Seal Protector with, with action. But the fact that we didn't really get to play very many other spells because we had to play the landmark stuff. So it made Demacia worse with action having to play all the landmark stuff to support Ziggs. So we didn't get like the different fight spells and things like that um, to go along with action. And so that, that was a downside. You could still play these two champions, but um, maybe playing these two champions with Bandal City, and then with Bandal City, you know, having Bomber Twins, and well, you could play Bomber Twins either way, uh, but having the Chemist, the Hexplosive Minefield, yeah, you can, we can go that route also with Bandal, um, and maybe that's the thing to do, because I know Demacy is good with action, but we kind of saw that having to add in all of the landmark cards meant that Demacia was worse because then we didn't get to play the some of the better Demacia spells like Concerted Strike, um, even more more copies of Golden Ages, Cataclysm, that kind of stuff that really uh, make Sivir and Action shine in Demacia. All right, so good little test there, right? Like that's, that's what we're trying to learn, good little test. The only thing is I really wish that we would have got one game with both champions and seen how they work together. Uh, but unfortunately, that's, you know, that's just not how life always goes. You don't get uh, perfect stuff all the time. All right, but that's going to be it here for Action Ziggs. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments about the champions. If you got, um, you know, if you're playing Action Ziggs, Demacia, got any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment section. Or if you're just trying out this combination, maybe with Bandle, uh, with Bandle City, or with something else, feel free to, uh, yeah, put down those suggestions. All right, but that's going to be it here for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.